Hello everybody, this is Pally welcoming you back to some more Divide et Impera for Total War Rome 2. As usual, we'll be continuing my game as Rome. So, it is autumn of the year 235 BC. And we, uh, if I remember correctly, are actually sort of at peace at the moment. We're getting ready to start another war or two, but we haven't actually done so yet. We finished off the Cantabri. Carthage is gone. It's a decent time for Rome right now. We have spread our influence significantly throughout the Western Mediterranean, as you can see on the mini-map down there. We've got plenty of income. We have two very powerful uh, client states that are both very loyal. The Arverni and Epirus here. You can see they like us both quite a bit. Or they both like us quite a bit, that is. Now, we don't have many others that are big fans of ours, but that's uh, how it goes <laughs> when you are huge and powerful. Not many people like you, but we do have trade treaties with a fair number of various groups. What is concerning me right now, or the ones who are concerning me right now are the Iceni up here, who are, I mean, we're trading with them, but they are very powerful. And they are up against us now, so I want to try and finish securing these borders here. I want to take out the Lusitan. The Gaetuli, Masesli, like, essentially start a push in Africa. Once we finish clearing out Spain, we'll send the legions there in various directions. One or two will head south to help out in Africa, the others will head north. But, that will, uh, that's a down-the-line plan. <laughs> right now, things are going good, and we can set up for fighting however we want here. Ooh, the 8th Legion still needs a bit of time to recover, but that's okay. Hispania... Ah, uh, just instability. It'll get better. Okay, that's fine. You know what? Maybe instead of another villa, we'll create... Hmm... Another temple? Nah, villa it is. Stick with what we're doing. It'll be fine once... The uh, instability wears off. Worst case, we'll send an army to cool things down. Or build a different kind of building somewhere. Either way, doesn't matter. Got the culture shifting in our favor as well. Got the first legion ready to hit the loose tan right here. They've got essentially just this, w this one... Uh... <clears throat> I guess this is a separate province, so... Brigantium, we'd like to take. And then Ibora and Olisipo are Lusitania. So, yeah, we uh, aren't ready to do that this turn, but very soon. Where are my spies? So she's keeping an eye down here on the Masesli. I'll just deploy her for now. We don't have the money for a mission anyways. Got the 10th Legion on its way back. 2nd Legion... Yeah, we've got a good amount of power down here. We still have uh, the 7th Legion over here in the east, holding down this border. <laughs> These are a couple other wars that have been going on for a long time and we just haven't cared about. Nasimones and Cyrenaica, or Kyrenaica. I think of it as Cyrenaica because that'd be the more modern term, but it doesn't really matter. As long as I'm referring to the right guys, I've never promised that I'm going to pronounce things right in this game. Alright, nobody to level up. Ah, there's my other spy, helping the 10th Legion move along. Good. Okay. Well, I think for now we are ready to end the turn and see what'll happen next. Uh, assuming the game doesn't freeze. <laughs> Uh, for the first time, not or not the first time, but it's still so nice to not see Carthage pop up on here. Just in, in all the various Rome Total War games, 
I've played as Rome, Carthage is always, of course, your number one enemy. And it's always nice to finally wipe them out. Alright, the Averni move around a little bit. I'm not seeing too much else of interest. But then, then again, this would only be showing me... Eh, the interesting AI moves, and that's an interesting one. Uh, general levels up. Probably a governor. Okay, so we have transports and more transports. Do we have a fleet nearby? We should. Where is my first fleet? Aha! Right here. So the Gate Thule sending a bunch of transports north. Now if they declare war... Yeah, seven... Yeah, 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 shut up. So seven more turns until our truce can be broken without a breach of honor. So I'm not expecting them to actually attack. Not, uh, not yet. Hmm. <clears throat> but for now, maybe a supply pit. Nah, I don't think we're gonna need that. Not long term, anyways. Let's go with the slave trader. We'd probably want one down here, or maybe a delicatessen. Let's go with the delicatessen. We can always use more food. Hmm, didn't get quite as much income last turn as we otherwise might have. Let's see. Ready for battle, Commander. We have no siege weaponry up here. Punching through that army might be a little bit painful. Unless we have the First Legion do it. But they, on the other hand, could hit a Bora. Uh, decisions! Always difficult. What do you wish of me? Sabotage! That's what I wish of you. Reduce morale and movement. Yeah, steal provisions. And see what happens. Okay, well, if we attack, chances are they will retreat. Uh, rather than face both of these armies. We then we the can battle. have the First Legion move to hit them. I do want to try and take a Bora this turn as well, though. And that... could be battle. troublesome. Alright, well, let's see how this goes. We want to get this started. Attack! They have no allies. Very good. Oh! Crap, we have treaties. I definitely do not want to ruin our reputation. So, I'm we're gonna... I'm sure you have many pleasantries for me, but... Please, don't bother. Talk of meat, not honey. Well, let's cancel that treaty then. Crap. Dealing is done. Our wares will be kept okay, our and now we can declare war and without a truly know their word. without a reliability break. It looks like. Oh, uh, let's let's back out and make sure that's not just kind of a, the diplomacy screen Speak messing with me. Well. No. Nope. Oh, we Very did well. lose it. The Damn it! Horde will be locked away, and swords and shields. Oh well. Alright, hopefully that won't cost us too much. Oh! They're holding to fight. This will be interesting. And ugly. Well, let's see what happens. Okay, this could get messy. Because we have to ford the river. Uh, let's wait for the map to load up, see how this goes. Alright, 
Uh, I'm fine with dry. Start deployment. So, looks like we've got two spots we can cross at. We have fortified both. Pretty much a pure melee army. There's almost no ranged units attached. I don't know if we're going to be able to use that to our advantage or not. Um, largely because these armies aren't very ranged heavy either. That's why I was hoping to bring in the first legion and it's uh <coughs> the first legion and it's siege weaponry. But nope. All right. Let's start splitting the forces up. There's a chance that the enemy will come to us because they don't have any melee or uh, ranged units, so we want to be Sort of ready to try and stop them if that happens. And if not, the reason I'm putting the light... Lighter, anyways, infantry out front is to be missile sponges, as the enemy is likely to, at the very least, have uh, spears on their units to throw. And I'd rather not lose a ton of guys to spears. And, I mean, like, javelin spears, obviously. Cavalry and general. Alright, now we will be getting reinforcements right away as well, so let's see what happens. Our reinforcements have arrived. This gives us the advantage, and I will use it to the full. Follow orders, and we will soon sweep them from the field. Yes! So, it doesn't quite look like they're crossing, but it's really hard to tell. Could just be setting up right at the mouth. Like, especially on this side, it looks like they're just setting up, but they could be waiting for those guys, those heavy spearmen. Uh, that looks like they're crossing. Oh, nope, they're stopping right at the... Right at the edge of the water. Okay, this is going to get ugly. <laughs> but, we do have archers, so we can hurt them from farther away than they can hurt us. So there's that. We do have a lot of guys with javelins. And we can potentially negate a fair amount of missiles by popping our legion or our uh, legionari into testudo formation though how well that'll stop javelins thrown from an angle like this is not something i'm terribly uh <laughs> hopeful about meanwhile let's wait for the rest of the army Alright, archers! Let's get you kind of like right here. And then from there we can do whatever we want with you. The rest of you. Pretty much the bottom row here. Yep, cool. At the very least, let's get you moving. So, let's speed things up now and do this a little more detailed. More Antisic Nani on both sides. Okay, take the legionnaires that are still in good shape. One to each side. Pretty much just trying to keep the force, the forces, uh, fairly even. Now these legionnaires are hurt. I'm gonna put them kind of just in the middle for now to serve as reserves. And you. Uh, can even out the hoplites right there. Okay. So that's everyone heading into position. Cavalry. Let's just put you all into one big ugly group for now. Cavalry isn't going to be terribly helpful on this for quite a while. 
So the plan is, at the moment, uh, get the archers into position, start annoying the enemy, and see if we can bait them into coming at us. If we can, that would be lovely. I'm not really expecting to be able to, but you never know. Let's get the Antesic Nani out in front. That way they can toss a bunch of javelins if the enemy does start moving. And actually, if we can bait them, we might we're gonna want the legionnaires in front of the Volcante here. We have discovered the enemy's hidden units. We have discovered the enemy's hidden units. Uh, not many. <laughs> Come on, everybody. Just getting the army into play. And I don't want to have them run naturally because that would just kill all of their stamina. <clears throat> Where are my archers? Almost in position. Let's go to flaming shot. Turn off fire at will for now. Oop, that's an Antesic Donnie. Archers off fire at will. There we go. Fixed. Now, unfortunately, these aren't uh, the Cretan archers that we've got in the First Legion or the Tenth Legion. These are just kind of crappier archers, so I'm not sure how well they'll do against these enemies. They seem to have good-sized shields, a fair bit of armor. At least the heavy spear infantry do, and they've got some lighter guys, so... And either way, toss enough arrows at the enemy and some of them will die. And Tessignani, let's get you all into position. You can run that distance. There we go. <clears throat> we have discovered the enemy's hidden units. Oh, there we go. We got some uh, ranged guys right there. What are they? Javelins? Yep. Okay. And more javelins. All right, so we're gonna want to have our archers concentrate on these on those javelins if we can. I wonder if there are more on this side. Antesignani, forward. See if he can spot the enemy a little better. Nope, nothing. All right. Well, that's okay. LA infantry at your command. Legionnaires, I need a line behind them. And same thing over here. We're gonna want a line behind the Antesignani. Don't run. Don't waste your energy. Ooh, you guys are running. I don't like that. Stop. Just get into position. We're not in a rush. Speed things up a little bit. Archers. Alright, you will be able to shoot across. Very good. So, like I said, we want to try and concentrate on crushing those... Javelins. They'll probably have... They'll have lighter armor and... Be easier to hit. So I'm going to move this set of... These three archers to the right a bit. Have them start shooting these two to the left. Because we do want archers on both sides, either way. Freeman! Yes, give me the lines on the side there. Oh, they're coming. Are they coming at us? They are coming at us. 
Hell yes. That's exactly what we wanted to have happen. Come on, javelins, kill these horses. Oh yeah. And there's a whole bunch more. And the general unit gets shredded. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Utterly and completely shredded. Okay, guys. Good job. What's happening over here? Similar work. Archers! Open fire. At this point, do what you want. Do some damage. We have discovered the enemy's hidden units. Alright, Legionnaires, forward. Designani, forward. And you guys, we're gonna take off of skirmish mode. Meanwhile, on this side, so far so good. And Designani. Let's get you guys set up. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Alright. Yeah, so far so good. These archers are out of range. That's a problem. Move forward. One of our units has used all its oh, ammunition. Not if they come across, though. Oh, actually, yes, they still are. That's a problem. Alright, archers. That should do better. Meanwhile, on this side, the enemy are just taking ridiculous casualties. Alright, so far so good. Actually, hold on. Stop. Fantastic Nani, we want you to have a better field of fire. These guys have a decent one, but the ones farther back do not. Okay, this is going quite well so far. One of our units Enemy are is taking heavy ammunition. losses. They're being foolish in how they're pressing their attack. Levy free men. Brave Romans to a man. Ooh, I've got my legionnaire stressed thin. I don't like that. Tighten it up, guys. There we go. Alright, the, the real battle begins. How we doing over here? Units has used all its ammunition. Oh, they're just stuck and getting fired on. Excellent. Over here, though, we've got a fight. You guys, angle yourselves a bit. One of our units has used all its ammunition. There we go. That's that's good. You out of ammo? Yes, you are. Well, in that case, let's bring in the Vocante. Hit the enemy in the side. Over here. Yep, just firing arrows into their mass. Excellent. As they ineffectually fire some javelins back. Oh, and you were out of range. Get in range! This is just a slaughter over here. They've taken so many losses, they're starting to break already. Flaming arrows rule. Have taken some losses, but that'll happen. Oh, these archers are hurting our own guys. That's that. That's not good. Fire right there. There we go. That's perfect. You two. Same thing. Target right there. Oh, hold on. 
One of our units has used all its ammunition. All right, we'll fall back then. Levy Freeman. Levy Freeman, yes. All right. So the enemy over here is getting slaughtered. Levy Freeman. This is going wonderfully. Keep it up, archers. All right, they're breaking. They're shattered. Excellent. Where's my light cavalry? Run them down. Archers! See if you can get over here. Join in this fun. Meanwhile, you guys just uh, catch who you can. Let the light cavalry do the rest. And now the fighting is actually happening over here. Let's retarget you guys a bit. Alright, you're out of ammo. Reform a little. Likewise, reform a little. Okay. And yeah, still going quite well. No siege engines, but this battle's still in our favor. Very solidly. Of course, we outnumbered them like crazy, so there's that. Over here, we're running them down. Run down as many as you can, guys. Where are the uh, other archers? In position, excellent. So, you guys also, move forward, fire on that spot. Up, oh, this set of archers is out of ammo, so pull back, get out of the way. Uh, I'm going to pull a general over here just to provide some bonuses. How is the chase going? Quite well. Uh, I'm going to pull two sets of light horse over to this side. We're going to want them once this group breaks. Or to make them break, either way. Push forward! Uh, no, that's probably a bad idea. No, no. Stay exactly where you are. Like that. That was me getting involved when I shouldn't. Alright, they're back in formation, they're good. Alright, enemy breaking. Excellent. Get forward and war cry. Intimidate. Let's drop everything we can here. Second win. Into the breach. Inspire. Let's do this. Break them. Ha <laughs> ha. Perfect. Alright, archers, ceasefire. Don't want you killing your own. Everybody, chase! Cut them down. We want this entire army annihilated. Okay. Keep chasing. Bakako! Bakako! That's kind of a weird sounding name to hear somebody yell, but okay. Hey, it's okay. Uh, it's me coming at it with my 21st century American sensibilities, such as they are. All 
Alright, now let's speed this up. We just have to f try and kill all of them. Or capture, potentially. We could end up with a lot of new slaves out of this, which would be lovely. And it is only in the setting of historical games that you can say that. <laughs> uh, with good reason. Alright. Well, this looks like we've got the vast majority of the enemy. There's still some more running. Over here. Yeah, we got him. Close enough to all of them. Units have been discovered. I I wasn't aware we had hidden units, but that's okay. Run them down. Alright, that looks good enough to me. I think we've got a pretty clean sweep. I don't know if we actually killed their general when they uh, charge across. I don't recall hearing uh, or seeing an event message for it. So he might have survived. Oh, there we go. These guys both just leveled up. Nice. Well, I think we pushed it far enough then. Let's end this battle. Decisive victory. That went very well. The archers were what did it. They uh, pushed the enemy into coming to us rather than waiting for us to come to them. And that gave us a pretty decisive advantage, I think. So... Didn't quite destroy the army, but damn near. So, 100 spearmen, a couple hundred range of uh, their peltasts left, but that's it. Let's enslave the captives. Advance! Commander, we hunger for battle. Uh, we'll let the Eighth Legion push after them. Kill it's a little more battle ready. <laughs> Screw it, let's just slaughter them. It'll be fun to watch. Now, this is an interesting map. Some rock formations, trees in the middle. Let's not have this be the battle where I took out the last Carthaginian uh, navy and I end up losing a general here or something somehow. Let's just make this a nice simple kill and yeah, this is a weird map. I like it. It's very interesting. Alright, uh... Archers, front and center. We're just going to go straight into these guys, I think. And Tessignani, right behind the archers. And then a hell of a bunch of legionnaires right behind the Tessignani. And that's all we're going to need. <laughs> General and the other cavalry off to the side, and there we go. Send one of the cavalry forward. It is not just to kill those unwashed fools, although that is a worthy thing. <laughs> no, we come to bring civilization. It seems a waste. Two arms! Yeah! We bring civilization. For Rome. We're not just here to conquer and slaughter, we're here to civilize. Okay, find the enemy for me, please. Come on, cavalry, that's your job. Okay, there we go, there we go. There's some of them, anyways. The spearmen. We lost sight again. Damn it. We have discovered the enemy's hidden units. Good. Still not liking this. The enemy could get tricky here. Archers, get into place, please. Our hidden units have been discovered. Let's do this. Our hidden units have been discovered. 
Just firing over the hill. That's fun. Oh, that's fun. And they come up on the top of the hill and there's just lines of Romans. I'm just loving the show. We're gonna take some losses, but I don't care. It's fun to watch. You can hear the horns for the signals. Shh! They've all just got flaming shields and they're trying to rush. That's a nice charge they're doing. I mean, it's suicidal, but noble, I guess. <laughs> As they get slaughtered. Almost to a man. Alright, well, it's time to end this, shall we? Tarantines! Let's just ride the charge. For victory! One of our units has used all its ammunition. Yes. Oh, this is a beautiful game. Okay, let's just... Alright, let's finish these punks off. I don't even see them. Bad guys, where are you? Close enough to annihilate it. Whatever. They can't run anyways. They're dead. Works well enough for me. Okay, yeah. They had 19 men left there. I don't think we needed to actually hunt them down. So, first stage of the war against Lusitan went just fine. Enemy army destroyed. Goodbye, steeds of a pain. Enslaved! Alright, I'm gonna have the third legion stay in friendly territory. Maybe move up toward Numantia, because apparently the public order problem here has gotten even worse. Which I don't like. Um... Yeah, I think we will actually switch this to being a trading port. That should help a little bit, at least. The fish markets just... They hurt public order too much. Meanwhile, First Legion, let's go take Ebora here. This should be a nice and, uh... Kind of... Kind of normal attack for the First Legion. They've taken so many settlements like this so far. Oh, they're sallying to fight in the field. That might make things a little more interesting. Because they do outnumber us. But they shall not outfight us. We are Rome! Rome's greatest legion. Flaming Swords of Neto, plus the Garrison Army of Ebora. Start deployment. Largely flat field. The enemy is pretty much entirely infantry. Do we see any cavalry at all? Got some light infantry slingers. Okay, so they'll have a bit of a range... A slight range advantage on us. Oh, and we have some very heavy lancers. Okay. Yeah. These guys are probably pretty damn tough. That's their general unit. So, that could be interesting. Well... So their advantage is numbers. Mine is raw power, so we are going to bunch up. 
right here. Flammable fire. rounds. The idea will be to force the enemy to come to us and just punch holes in them. Probably try and punch a hole right here and then break the right side of the enemy army if we can set that up nicely. I don't know if we will be able to, but we'll give it a shot. We'll hide the cavalry off in the trees to the right here. Have them serve as our flank. Archer is going to turn off skirmish. Flaming shot. Okay. Have them in a nice bunch as well. Now. Veterani, you're going to be right in the middle here. So, this is not going to be one of the battles where I leave much open space. This is going to be one where I want mostly fairly tight lines, I think. And we're definitely going to need reinforcements to the back and sides. Okay, so these guys on the right, at the very least, I'm going to take off fire at will. Guys on the left... Hmm, can't move. But otherwise... Oh, that makes them a uh, very thick formation as well. Being braced for cavalry. Alright, well, we'll leave them as is for now. We can deploy them however we need to. As the enemy advances, we'll have plenty of warnings since they're pretty much all infantry. Okay, I think we are ready to get this show on the, on the road. Uh, actually, I want to turn him into a block, make him a little more maneuverable. Alright! Open fire! Every day is a fine day for battle when you lead men in your strife. So we shall have victory today, men. By the gods, I feel it in my water. Uh, in my water? Okay. I'm not sure I understand that, but okay. Just fire it, will. Keep them attacking and distracted. We want them being foolish. Ooh. Already in range of the archers a little. Okay. Medium melee infantry, yeah. See, that's the thing. My, like, they have huge numbers, but... Townsfolk, sword, and, like, garrison troop numbers. We have extremely elite units here. Yeah, these guys are very vulnerable to ranged fire. Getting slaughtered by the archers. Whew, yeah. Keep it up. Uh-oh. Well, it happens. One of our units has used all Took some ammunition. friendly fire. It happens. Alright, you guys fire at will. You guys are firing at will. Good. You two. You and you cover the side. One of our units has used all its ammunition. So far, so good. You guys turn and fire at those if you can. Double time. All right. Fire on the slingers. You guys are okay. Taking some losses, but that's fine. Once they actually have to attack, they're going to be slaughtered. Square formation. There we go. We got this. Melee infantry. 
Alright. They haven't attacked you yet. Square. Ah, uh, shoot. Screwed that up. Square. And you're not even fighting, really. Engage! Target that group. You also target that group. Alright, so we've beaten them in the center pretty much already. That group shattered. Uh-uh, you guys come back, hit them in the side. Alright. Push forward. You guys turn and hit these guys. Push forward against these swordsmen. General up the middle. Let's hit these ranged units. Meanwhile, flankers! Let's get moving. It's your time. And you guys get moving as well. Slingers, die. Okay, Ballista, you're doing okay. Alright, the enemy's joining the fray, that's fine. I want the Tarantines to come around. Alright, you guys go back, hit that group. Tarantines, get moving. Do not skirmish. I have work for you to do. Alright, those guys are breaking. Tarantines. These guys are about to get hit in the side. Uh uh. Not yet, then. Alright, one of you can hit the spearmen. Others, you have work to do. Need to push around the flank. This is going pretty well. I mean, we're taking some losses, well, but that's okay. This is going pretty well. General! Alright, that group is destroyed. Agent Az! Get your butts over here, guys. You got work to do. General, help the slingers, we'll finish them off, and then we can smash this group in the back. Almost got this battle in the... in the bucket. Ceasefire. Alright, we got this. Yeah, they're running because of the losses. Uh, I could have had these guys do a little more for this fight, I think. <laughs> Alright, still. We win. Excellent. Uh, ride down some enemies here. The enemy general is dead. Hey, there we go. We kill him in the honorable combat. Ride down some of these spearmen and the like, and then we'll just call it. I don't care to bother hunting down every member of the garrison. All right, good enough. Victory! 400 Legionnaires lost. But, then again, we got a, what? 7.5 to 1 kill ratio there. 7.75 to 1 kill ratio. I think we did pretty good. Alright. Ebora is taken. Occupy! At your command. We hunger for battle. Ready for battle. Eighth Legion's coming up to support. Yeah, even if these uh, defenders of Endovelicus come at us, I'm pretty sure the First Legion could still handle them. Because this Legion rules. Uh, General, you're the one who leveled up. Um... Hmm, Rightful Sovereign, Empire Maintenance. That becomes more and more of an issue over time, so you really want to boost that those bonuses on your governors as much as you can. And yeah, this region is not happy. We'll have to do what we can about that. 
A lot of squalor from the buildings, yep. Okay. Well, that's making me kind of rethink having a second villa here. Maybe we should have a, uh, another temple or perhaps another one of these, the Velitudinariums. Eh, decisions. We'll give it time, see what happens. It could also just be really bad weather. <laughs> uh, what do we got? Yeah, it is winter, so... Uh, I don't know. We'll send the 3rd Legion up. Keep an eye on things. Meanwhile, 1st and 7th, or 8th, are pushing at Olypso. I do not trust the Gaetuli here. I really don't. 10th Legion to Serta. Because I want to f crush the Masaisley. They've been a thorn in my side ever since Carthage and I went to war. Oh, Bora has something special? Doesn't look like it. Uh, huh. hard to say. Maybe it's just the iron? Quite possibly. Can't upgrade our guys anymore, but that's okay. Meanwhile! <laughs> That looks like to, it's just about everything we can do this turn. Uh, yeah, we're out of money. You're not into position just yet. Another turn or two before we can attack them safely. Try and wipe them out for good. First fleet. But you're right there. Keep an eye on things. Uh, patrol. There we go. Patrol. And I think we are then otherwise pretty good. Alright, they can't make it to the 8th Legion, so let's patrol. That'll save us a little bit. Same with you. Patrol. There we go. Okay. Yeah. That, sh that would be our turn. Yeah, sure. Replace them. That's better. For an admiral, anyways. Ooh, we definitely want to upgrade that. Next turn! So, let's see what the Lusitan do in response. I don't expect them to attack, but I hope they do. That would be very foolish on their part. They should keep that army inside Ellipso. Looks like that's what they did. I didn't see them move at all. Did Epirus finally take all of its armies out of Italy? Oh, nope, there's still one up uh, near uh, Arminium there. Okay, they just moved them north in Italy. Okay. That's fine, Epirus can do what it wants. We don't mind. Why do I get the feeling they're getting ready to attack? Oh, a general died. Oh, is he one of my governors? Possibly. Well, plebeians, equites, ooh, statesmen. Let's go with this guy. Oh, no, this was the guy in charge of the 3rd Legion. That's not what I expected. And we had another one die? We had two generals die at the same time. Yes, we did. Governor of Terrace as well. Okay, so we're going to raise some uh, new guy here as well. 
Okay, and yeah, our income took a, a hit there. Not entirely certain why, but it did. Ah, uh, happiness is... Or public order is doing better here, at least, though. So, we'll move you guys... North? Oh, uh, no, I can't because your general died, I guess. Well, we'll move you north next turn, then. First Legion. I do not think that we are ready to hit a Lipso. Oh, the Sippo, rather. But... I'm afraid we cannot. Ready for battle. That just you means fortify. Ready for orders. Move closer. March. Fortify. So, next turn we will push. And I really should have destroyed these because we don't need either of those. Oops. Yeah, I think we want the trade hub rather than the fortified small town. Meanwhile, Tingus. Shrine of Jupiter, and yeah, our income took a hit there. Something being blocked? I don't know. My guess is that's we had some trade get disrupted, but... Honestly, not certain of that. Stumia, what do we got here? Defenders of Endovelicus. Uh, yeah, relatively light troops. Not much armor. They're all going to be pretty vulnerable to... Archers. So, hmm... Huh, no, not a very good chance of that. Interesting. Well, you know what? Just deploy for now. Keep an eye on things. Only a level 2 town. Two military buildings, so it still has a decent garrison, but... The 1st and 8th together can definitely take it. Would like to get the first a little bit of replenishment on a couple of these legionnaires first, but, uh... We'll give it one turn. We'll attack in the summer. Or at least go lay siege in the summer. I still do not trust at all what these guys are doing down here, though. I do not like this. First Elite's just gonna chill exactly where it is and stay there. Okay, anything else we need to worry about just this turn? Uh, no, everything looks pretty good, I think, otherwise. Still not much happening here. Not ready to fight them seriously again yet. They seem to have moved an army over. Yep, to Dimidi. The desert's wins, so they could, if we attack them, they could attack Isle. Great. <laughs> That's exactly what I want them to do. Uh, God damn it, Mseasley. Alright, well, we're gonna call that a turn, I think. There's not much more to do. You guys are stuck. Oh, if you can't move, uh, patrol. Okay, good enough. Let's see what happens. Wonder what the Averni are doing. Lusitan offer a tell peace us treaty. That we should offer you gold. We do not argue with spirits. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Uh, here's another option. 
They say no. Well, too bad. I gave them the option. If they wanted peace, they submit. They didn't want peace well enough to submit. Which is fine by me. This is total war, not total peace. Divide and conquer, not hugs and kittens. Though, kittens are pretty excellent. So are hugs. But, that's not what we're here for. Dowersi attacked and failed. Alright, I forgot they're at war with the... Uh, I will speak the hardest word for a warrior. <laughs> Peace. It is an honorable offer. Made to an honorable foe. Yeah, sure. Why not? It's kind of a worthless war to be fighting. So the Gaetuli split their forces up a fair bit there. Interesting. We come to you in strength to speak words of strength. Reply then with a strength that welcomes peace. Uh, no, you're still at war with Epirus. We're gonna say no. That doesn't matter. Okay, so what's the situation here? Commander. They did recover some troops. Excellent, that's what I was hoping would happen. Do we give it one more turn? Fully replenish them? Eh, we're just beginning 50-ish men. 50-70 men. That's not worth holding off the attack for. Well, let's see. Level 5 general. Let's see if we can take him out. Or maybe just the, the warlord. Chances are not good. How about for the warlord? Slightly better. Doesn't give that much of a bonus to the army. Experience. That's about it, really. Plus 5% morale. That's not that much. It's mostly the uh, zeal bonus he gives the general that's a problem, and if we can take out the general, then it's not a problem. So, let's go for it. We'll try and poison the general. 50% chance of him at least getting wounded. Ah, damn it. At your command. Well, worth a try. Alright, first legion lay siege. Garrison fleet. Huh. Heavy siege tower. Or do we just attack and bash down the walls? I mean, we do have three ballista here. They've got slingers. I think these are... Those kind of look like javelin men. Hard to tell, but... At the very least, we want the 8th Legion joining us. Huh. <laughs> Still thinks that this is in their favor. That's funny. Alright, let's do this. The game thinks this is in their favor, rather than mine. That's cute. So, I'm thinking... Right here looks like a good attack point. The walls kind of bulge out, so we won't be fired on much from the sides. We can knock some holes in the walls around the gate. And then actually grab the gate. With the uh, men we send in with our ladders. And we should be pretty good. To finish loading the Battle of Olisipo 234 BC. 
Alright, so we got our reinforcements coming. Yeah, this feels like the spot to hit. Archers can easily light those towers on fire. We can bash down walls here and here while we send in the actual the men on ladders. Let's get ready for this. Okay. Oh, the legions. Archers. You have very important work to do. Just put them in a bunch in the middle. Move them forward once uh, the battle begins. Meanwhile, cavalry, you are not very helpful in this fight. Ballista! Actually, should have them right here. Actually, that isn't a terrible idea to spread them out a little more. There we go. Looked like they had a weird angle, but nope, seems okay. Alright, so, Ballista, we are going to turn... Actually, we'll stick with flammable rounds, we want to knock down the walls first. So, let's start her up. Archers. Our reinforcements have arrived. Now they look down upon you with contempt. So, show them how foolish they are, how misguided, and how the gods no longer love them. Prepare. Yeah, the gods no longer love them. Ha <laughs> ha. Knock a hole in the wall, shall we? Glory to Rome. Archers, let's get you moving ready. forward. I want you burning those towers. Alright, reinforcements. Don't run. Walk. I do want you actually able to fight once you get up there, guys. More cavalry. Alright, all cavalry I'm just gonna put into a group a little back. Oh, archers. Uh, you're probably doing things I don't want you to do. Ceasefire. No fire at will. I have specific targets for you guys. So you target that tower. You target that tower. You target that tower. Okay, there we go. Just a couple volleys per tower should do the trick. Once you're done taking out the towers, then you can fire at will. All right, good. That one's destroyed, or it will be soon. No idea how many kills we're getting with the ballistae. What the hell's going on with them? I do love how just all over the place their aim is. Okay, next spot, once we get a breach here, is going to be over here, I think. You are not having much luck hitting the target. We have discovered the enemy's hidden units. All right, archers, fire at will. Uh, 
Uh, that's probably... Actually, no, those are very heavily armored guys. Ceasefire at will. The enemy's tower has been destroyed. Excellent. Now, if my archers are just fighting their ranged units, that's a little different. I can use my archers to slaughter their ranged units. The enemy's tower has been destroyed. Excellent. More archers, get up here, guys. Yeah, fine, they can run. into position, and then open fire. I want you killing their ranged units. If you can. Okay. That's what I like. Enemies going down in flames. Getting their amassing little cuts and scrapes. Or getting hit in the head by arrows. Excellent. How we doing? The wall's almost breached. Oh, so close. Meanwhile, how we doing over here? 20%. I don't know if we're going to be able to get two breaches. These walls are being annoying. Come on. There we go. Oh, you got to be kidding me. That's not even a breach. Alright, we need a break in the walls here, guys. So I shouldn't have been attacking the... Uh, I don't know exactly what even that'd be called. The bulge in the wall. That was a mistake. Okay, well, lesson learned. This goes badly, it goes badly. Like, that'll happen sometimes. You generally wait until you have more siege equipment before making an attack like this. But in this case, I'm letting the archers and others try and do as much of the work as possible. One of our units has used all Come its ammunition. Uh, Cretan archers are almost out of ammo. If only they could take somebody like a different <laughs> the ammo from the other archers. Here, use our arrows. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Alright. Cretan archers are almost... Archers! ...have pretty much done their job in this fight. At speed. Fall back. Other archers, move forward! One of our Slightly. Units has used all its See ammunition. if you can stay out, stay out of range. Cretan archers, fall back. Advance at speed. The ballista almost have broken the wall here. Let's ballista. see if they can pull it off. Oh, come on. You can do it. wonder how many kills the archers got. 70, 120, 130. 13, 130. Not bad. Not ideal, but not bad. Okay, one more volley, I hope. Hmm. You're not in range, really. Forward! The walls are breached! There we go. That gives us our opening. Very good. Okay, now... Now 
now the question becomes exactly how we move in next. I don't think we want to move in anyone on the other side of the gate at the moment. They would just be alone. So we'll get the ladders together where they can support each other. I may have these guys stop firing for a little while. In fact, I'm definitely going to. Okay, it's time to start bringing our legionnaires up, specifically those that are still in really good shape. You guys are going to be my push through there. Flammable rounds and, uh... Fire at will, why not? Have a little fun with your last couple of volleys. Yeah, there you go. Right in the middle of these guys. Set the city on fire. One of our units has used all its ammunition. All right, ballista is are out of ammo. If only I had like a scorpion or plebos, <clears throat> but I don't. All right, we're gonna send both of these guys into the left of the breach. And then we'll push the Legionari up through the breach. And we'll see how this goes. This could get very ugly. But hold on. Hold on. Stop, stop, stop. Line up right first, please. There we go. Move over there. Get lined up, get ready. Legionaries, you do the same. Whoa. Not sure what happened there. Did the game freeze on me? Sorta, of, kinda. This is not good. Alright, so we've got the game paused. Let's try again. This is not good. Okay, come on, game. Don't screw me now. We were doing so well in this battle. Let's try fast forwarding. <laughs> Slowing it down, maybe. Come on, slow motion. Does that help at all? No. This is a first. I haven't had this happen before. Like, in any Total War game ever. I don't think I've had it ever slow down quite like this. Well, uh... Shit. Well, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to concede defeat, and as long as that doesn't end up with us taking horrendous casualties, uh, we can hopefully just continue from there. 
Yes, we're quitting the battle. Uh, okay, 876 losses. That's not super terrible, I guess. <laughs> they took more. I'm not certain what happened there, though. Well, uh, none of my forces were actually wiped out, so... Hey, look, we killed one of them. <laughs> Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna continue from here. We'll let our guys come back. They'll replenish a bit. So yeah, they'll replenish. Get their act back together. Fortify them. Meanwhile, uh, whoa. No idea why we have that much income, or money, but I'll take it. Consecrated ground, Egger Publicus. And, well, I'm sorry to kind of end it on that level of disappointment, but I am pretty much out of time here, and... Yeah, I was planning to have the Battle of Alisipo be the end of our session. It'll, I guess, have to be the start of the next one. The second Battle of Alisipo. Yeah, that'll be fun to have. Meanwhile, Third Legion up to Numantia. Yeah, it's helping a little. Patrol! There you go, that helps even more. Uh, farm and... Herding ground. Okay. Other construction! No. We do not need public order penalties in Africa right now. Grain pits! At your command. This war is unfortunately going to have to wait, but that's actually probably a good thing, especially with them having the desert winds over here like this. We'll have Atherep kind of just keeping an eye on things from the center of the desert. You weren't governing. Govern. Bad dignitary. Very bad. No. Not his fault I didn't give the order. Okay, so that's just about everything for this turn. Yeah, we're just... I don't have the time to push this war already. Before I you say anything, think it's know too... that I have an nope. amulet. Yeah, your amulet against dark sorcery. Alright, so we're gonna start next session with uh, either the attack on Capsa. Probably just start next session with the attack on Capsa. And then our renewed attack on Elisipo. Or Elisipio. Nope, just Elisipo. Gah. Pronunciation! Tough. But yeah, hopefully we don't end up having any bugs like that again. That was very unfortunate. But it happens. So, this has been fun. It's... Oh... Uh, what are we? 27 sessions in now on this campaign? So, it's been going for quite some time. So yeah, we are at the summer of 234 BC. This is Pali playing Divided Impera and signing off.